Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to draw an M text. So we're going to create a method for that. Let's get started. Let us call this method call, uh, draw M text. And of course, we have to create the command method called draw M text. The same thing as what we've done for the line object. We'll do the same thing as uh, declaring all the variables we need. So dim doc as document equals application dot document manager dot MDI active document. Dim DB as database equals doc the database dim edit as editor equals doc that editor and of course we have to create the transaction using trans as transaction equals db dot transaction manager and start the transaction And also, we need to create the try catch block, provide the error, the error handling message, write message, error encountered, or you can provide any message that you like and then uh, display the message encountered based on this error variable here. And then, of course, we have to abort the transaction since we encounter some issues. Okay, <coughs> now we can write the code to draw an M text. If you notice, when you are drawing an object, it's always the same uh, code block or template. If you want, you can remove the try, but I suggest that you include it because it's it's always uh, safe to have this try catch block to handle the issues otherwise if you are debugging especially if your code becomes complex it's quite hard so I suggest you just leave the try catch block here and then proceed with your coding so once you get used to all these declaring of variables creating the transaction it becomes second nature to you when you develop uh, more methods as we uh, go along in this course but I suggest that you always type in because the every time you type it in it comes like a, a second nature as I said which means that you can remember easily how to what are what are the variables that you need rather than just copying from here and then pasting it here you can do that once you get all very familiar with the way how to create those uh, methods so in the meantime I recommend that you always type in yourself this one here until you have this kind of uh, memory all right, so now let us provide the user with the message just to let the user know that we are drawing mtext. So this is just an mtext exercise. And we provide the vbcrlf line feed. And then as usual, we have to create a block table variable. Oops, as block table. And then BT would be equals to trans.getObject db.blocktable ID. And the uh, open mode would be for read. And also we need to declare a block table record call it as btr 
and the BTR would be from the trans object get object and then we get hold of our BT and we need the block table record that model space that is our string and then the open mode would be open mode for write okay next we can now declare a variable to hold the m text that we're going to create let me just call that as txt i mean let's just create first the string as a string and let's call that as hello provide the information here from uh, vb.net that is our string variable and now what are the requirements to draw an m text we need an insertion point and we already have the text string here so that's those are just the two components that we need so let us create the variable for our insertion point let's call that at, as uh, ins pt and that would be point uh, 3d equals new point 3d let's say from 35 60 0 that is x35 y60 and z0 and now we can create an m text so another good practice is to use the using let's say mtx as our variable for the m text as m text equals new m text you might notice every time you use this uh, using keyword it automatically adds this end using same as when we did for the transaction okay it's basically what means what it means by this is that once we create this mtx variable and it exceeds this using block it automatically clears the the memory reference in in the ram okay in the heap so we don't need to to clear that up so this is very efficient next that we have this mtx uh, variable we can now provide the contents what is the contents that would be our txt which is this one here and another property that we need to provide is the the location which is our insertion point here the insertion point and that's it and all we need to do now is to add into our or to append into our block table record the mtx as well as uh, adding into the transaction mtx and true and of course after that we have to commit the transaction otherwise it won't be saved in the drawing so that's it for this mtx uh, method draw mtx method let us save our project and then do another rebuild okay so we are now ready to try it in AutoCAD let's go into AutoCAD and type in netload for our updated DLL so this is the one that we created okay from this folder click on always load now we should have 
two methods. The first one is draw line, the other one is draw M text. So let's try the draw M text. There you go. Yeah. This is our text. And if we list this AutoCAD, this string, our insertion point is uh, 35 and 60 and the text is hello autocad from bb.net now let us check our draw line is it still there yep it's still there there you go okay so now we have two methods in our draw objects uh, plugin okay so give this a try and see the results. You can experiment on changing the insertion point or changing the, the text string and even provide some color on the text and see the outcome. Okay, so we'll continue building on this project with other, uh, other object types and I'll see you there.